Sean Don here, and today I'm going to show you the secret grip to take your throwing game to the next level. If you've been throwing hammer or weight for any significant amount of time, you know how to grip the handle, I imagine. It's uh, kind of day one stuff. If you're right-handed, your left hand goes in the handle, your right hand goes over top, and that's that. If you're left-handed, you don't matter, and this video isn't for you. <laughs> Gripping the hammer handle is pretty straightforward though. What more could there be? So much more, kids, so much more. If you're a maniac like me and you're, you're obsessed with squeezing every little last drop of performance out of your body, then I've got your fix. Only use three fingers. That's right, cut your pinky off. Who needs it? Not me. I'm trying to dedicate my entire life to an arbitrary sport. All for what? Who knows? I sure don't, but I do it compulsively like an addict because I crave the feeling of progress. <clears throat> uh, in all seriousness, the three finger grip may be your answer if you're looking to take your throwing game to the next level. It was first introduced to me by the good old Tao of Hammer himself, Uncle Kib, Kibway Johnson back in 2017 on a trip to good old Frankish Krumbach, Germany. I remember that day like it was yesterday. Hot, muggy summer day in a small German village. We were there for a training camp, competitions and such. During that week of training, I was throwing the 6K and he says, hey young laddie, you should try throwing the hammer with just three fingers. So I did, I tried it out and I threw a 6K personal best like that day. And then later that week, also throwing with three fingers, I had like my second best throw of my life over in Europe, which is like really freaking hard to do. It was pretty neat. And I was like, wow, I have found the answer or at least one of the many answers to the question. The only downfall was as I stuck with it, it hurt a lot, like all of the time. So I postponed committing to it entirely until the start of the next season. Uh, that way I could sort of ease into it a little bit more. It took quite a while as my hands took a beating kind of the next year or so, but I've been three fingering it ever since. And it seems to have paid dividends as I've thrown a lot further since then. Why does only using three fingers work? Well, basically it lengthens the radius of the system. Basic physics, it's like centripetal force stuff. I haven't taken a physics course since my senior year of high school, so I'm not gonna pretend like I know 100% the reason why it works. In my, you know, layman sort of brain, I think that you and the hammer create a system of centripetal force. The distance between you and the hammer is the radius of that system. By removing the pinky from the handle, you lengthen that radius by about a centimeter or so. To further elaborate, I've once again heard that if you take a 70 meter throw and you could replicate the exact same force that was transferred into the hammer, but with a radius that is one inch longer, that same force would essentially translate into a 71 meter throw. So all other things being equal, a longer radius equals more ball speed, which equals farther throws. Yes, science! Length is king, chicks dig long balls. Chicks dig the long ball, sorry. That's also why things like tungsten hammers and weights are so popular, the center of mass of the tungsten implement is farther away from the body, adding length to the system ultimately, helping you throw farther. Yes, science! So these little trade secrets can help us plebeian wingspan having sons of bitches compete with the likes of the genetic elite. <coughs> Kibway. I know of quite a few other elite hammer guys who also use a three finger grip. Marcel Lomnitschke, Daniel Hall, Paul Fidek, I know that they also use a three finger grip. So surely you have plenty of evidence by now to drink the Kool-Aid. Right? So how do you throw with a three finger grip? Well, much like the standard four finger grip, you put your left hand or left fingers on the handle, only using your index, middle, and ring finger. And then your right hand goes on top of that, however you may normally do it. I've been told I'm fucking weird. I personally only have my index finger and my middle finger on my right hand inside of the handle. So I'm only technically really holding on with two fingers, but I do this because it kind of matches the surface area up a little bit better with the ridges of my hands to help my grip. It feels more stable, that's what I do. You can just go three fingers on top of your three, play around with it and figure out what feels good for you. But that's it, that's all you have to do. And then you go throw. It's gonna be uncomfortable at first, perhaps even very painful as you start to accumulate a lot of throws because you're essentially putting that normal force you'd have on four fingers down to three fingers, which means more pressure per square inch. Once again, I'm not a physics guy, but in my brain, 
it makes sense. If you're really dying to squeeze out that last half meter or so, depending on how far you're throwing, you're really gonna have to commit to it. Or if you wanna save yourself the trouble, you can just save this special little trick for competition. I liked to train with it because personally, I didn't have the grip strength at first to hang on to these higher intensity throws with three fingers. So I needed to practice it a little bit and develop that uh, special strength in its own way. So that's it. Another Sean Don trade secret revealed to the masses. What other secrets do you wanna know about? Comment below and let me know. Also, just a reminder, it's just $10 to sign up for my Patreon and get access to all of my other secret training documents and videos, plus other neat benefits. For example, the first live monthly Q&A is coming up soon. So don't miss out, sign up. The link is down below in my description. And a big thank you to all of my new patrons who signed up over the past week. Stoked to have you guys around, finally building this community a little bit bigger, just $10. Go sign up and join the movement. Okay, so thanks for watching everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, and if you found value in this video, all I ask is that you share it with one other person, your teammate, your coach, your grandmother, your roommate, some guy at work, the hobo down the street who might have access to a computer and iPhone randomly, I don't know. Just uh, share it with them and help me grow my channel and spread the good word of the hammer out to the world. Now remember, grip and rip, brethren. Until next time, Sean Don, signing off.